Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna be taking a look at how to fix the problem where. Wait, what? No! You gotta be kidding me! So, if you've ever come across this problem in Premiere where your media pending screen just won't go away, you probably also know that it's really frustrating to try and fix. And the whole reason why it's happening is exactly what it's telling you. Premiere is trying to take your video files made up of all those ones and zeros and actually display a fully functioning video file that you can watch back in real time. Or at least that's what's supposed to happen. But for whatever reason, Premiere Pro can't actually complete the process. Or maybe it does, but it just doesn't send the memo to stop showing this warning frame. And so that's what we're gonna try to help you fix today. But just as a disclaimer, this is not a video on how to fix Premiere Pro from crashing. We actually have an entire video dedicated just to that topic and a link to it in the description, but let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump right into the solutions. There's a bunch of different things that you can try when you're dealing with media pending, but we're gonna start with the solutions that are quick and easy and move through to the ones that are more time consuming. And the easiest place to start is to simply disable and re-enable everything over the point where your playhead is showing the media pending problem to be. Highlight what you want and then right click and go up to enable to disable it. Then do it again to re-enable it. Or if you just wanna try the scorched earth method, hit control or command A to select everything, then disable and then re-enable everything. This process of making slight adjustments to your clip can also work with making very simple changes like changing the clip length by even just one frame or even making an artificial cut that doesn't actually do anything to create any visual difference. But in order to do that, you might have to know where the problem actually stems from. So you may have noticed that this problem seems to be more prevalent with certain types of footage like dynamically linked files and nested sequences. So if you're noticing that you're getting media pending problems, try looking to see for these particular sequences. With dynamically linked footage, you can actually right click and render and replace if you're done making changes to it. And for things like nested sequences, it seems like there's times when I've literally never been able to figure out how to fix it because I've got an inception level of nested sequences inside of nested sequences. So if you're stuck with that, you can actually set your in and out points just for that nested sequence length, export that section, and then place it over top and voila, a very blunt workaround, but it's an option to keep in your back pocket. There can be times when you're getting a draft off for a client and you're more concerned with hitting the deadline than solving the reason for that particular problem in that moment. Get them the draft and then figure out what's causing the problem later. If you're still having problems with media pending, it actually might be a problem that developed along the way within your sequence itself. Create a new sequence to match the one that you're currently using. A really fast way to do that is by taking a clip that you know is the same format as your sequence or even taking that particular sequence itself and right clicking it and select new sequence from clip. Now delete this clip in the new timeline. Go back to the old timeline with the media pending problem and highlight everything with control or command A. Then copy everything with control or command C. Now go to your new sequence and paste everything to the timeline with control or command V. Everything should be exactly the same as your last sequence, except with any luck, you should have gotten around the media pending problem. Sometimes, for whatever reason, it can seem like it's attached to the particular sequence you're using, so by switching sequences, you might just get around the problem. Now, if that doesn't work, the last thing I'd try is deleting and or moving your cache and preview files. If you don't know what those are, basically they're shortcut files that Premiere creates and uses to help make the processing of your media in your project a lot faster and easier. Go to Edit, Preferences, Media Cache, and you can delete the unused files but this might not include any files that might be giving you problems in your current project. So what you can do is go to this particular location on your computer where they're stored and delete them manually. There's no worry about hurting your computer or losing any work as long as you're deleting cache files specifically. And they'll usually be clearly labeled in a cache file folder. As long as you're only deleting the files inside of that particular folder, you're good to go. You might need to close Premiere for some of these to be deleted properly, and once you open Premiere again, these files will be rebuilt automatically. If the problem persists, try moving the location of your cache files to a new drive, maybe a faster one if possible. Simply go back to Edit, Preferences, Media Cache, and browse for a new location. And if that doesn't work, you can try deleting video preview files instead. The same rule of thumb goes for these video previews. 
as long as you're deleting just the preview files, you won't hurt your edit. To find those files, look for where you saved your Premiere Pro project file. If you're having trouble finding it, it should be at the top of your Premiere Pro window with the designated location on your computer. Once you're there, you should see a file folder that says Adobe Premiere Pro Video Previews. And if you delete what's inside of this folder, you might be deleting one of the files that Premiere is having trouble processing and causing the permanent media pending problem. Again, Premiere will likely need to be closed down for you to delete these files if it's being used in your project. So once you close Premiere and delete these files, open Premiere up again, and you should see a blue progress bar in the bottom right hand corner to show that these files are being reconstructed, hopefully properly this time. And guys, those have just been a few quick suggestions to dealing with the media pending problem in Premiere Pro. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, we've got plenty of other tutorials to help you out right here at MotionArray.com. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.